Okay, this is the fifth video demonstrating Reality Factory 2, um, specifically the Reality Factory 2, Reality Factory 1 compatibility script set um, using layer 1 of Reality Factory 2. Okay, and I will start off again where we left off. We were dynamically editing, editing showing how auto reload works with Reality Factory 2 now. Um, and let's say I wanted the buttons up here. With auto reload, it makes your life so much easier. We can automatically do this. Um, let's try a value of 475 in X for, we'll start with the new game button, and a Y of 20. See how that looks. Um, down a tiny bit. So let's make it 25. Try that. And a little further, 27. Having it auto reload really gives you the flexibility to go in and tweak it all you want. Um, and again, you will notice a slight lag time as it reloads, um, but this is configurable. In fact, auto reload itself is configurable. You can turn it off when you release your game, so it's not checking the resources, and it'll save, it'll make it faster. Um, and you can set it to do it every frame if you want, um, or near to every frame, I should say. Um, and then it'll pretty much be seamless, although you will lose some performance. I haven't noticed a single bit of performance loss, but I'm just doing a 2D menu for this demonstration. So, um, load game. I'd say the X value should work pretty well, so let's try 475, and the Y should be about, let's try 57. Little, little to the left, and uh, 470. I like the Y position. That looks good. Okay, save game. And you can see I already have two buttons positioned. It's It goes like lightning. Um, let's try... F that's about the same width, so let's try 470 again. Um, and Y... Let's try... Um, let's try... 87. Uh, down a little, let's try 97. Okay, I'm happy with it in X. So let's go to Options, and 470, no, I'd say about 475 to 478 for this. And Y should be about uh, 127 or so. Looking good. And let's try Credits. 50, Credits is, uh, actually, you know what, I'm not happy with Options in the Y position. Let's try 130. That looks better. Actually, let's try four, 132 since I don't have to restart RF2 to do that. Well, 131. That looks good. You have the freedom to tweak it. Okay, X. Uh, let's try 475 to start, and Y should be about 162. Let's try that out. Looks good in X. Let's move it a little lower in Y. Let's try 165. Excellent. Now let's do the final button, the quit. And f I'd say 476 and 165. And you can really give a good guess once you get used to it. Oh! <laughs> Not like that. I accidentally copied the old one. 195 would be about right. Uh, down a tiny bit, 198. Uh, down a tiny bit more. Let's try 190. What? Well, that seemed to go up. I don't know why. Let's try 192. Mm, what about 200 or so? Perfect. And you can see I've edited... You know what? That title doesn't look good under the RF2 with all that over there. Let's put it down here. And let's see here. We want the X to be about 20, and the Y to be about... No, 20 isn't good. Um, 10, and the Y to be approximately... Um, maybe... about 400, let's try. Down a little more. 450, and that's down too far. Actually, you know, I kind of like that. No, I don't. 
and 450, let's try 425. Perfect. And we've edited our, the main page of our menu. It's that simple. I'm going to cut it now.